PC TV News. I'm Jessica Barker. And I'm Genevieve Smith. This is the fourth and final episode of PC TV News for the fall semester. Thank you for being with us as we cover all the latest news from Principia College. In today's show, we'll bring you behind the scenes footage from Plus One's new music video, highlights and post game commentary from the intramural soccer final between Buck and Ferg, and find out what Thanksgiving means to students at Principia College. Plus One is Principia's only mixed a cappella group on campus. They have been working hard in preparation for their end of semester concert in which they will perform a wide variety of popular and alternative tunes. Catherine Crony from PCTV News recently went behind the scenes of the filming of Plus One's new music video and caught up with the cast. Hi, Catherine Crony here with PCTV News. We are here behind the scenes of the shooting of Plus One's music video as they gear up for their upcoming concert. And all I am is a man I want the world in my hands I hate the beach But I stand in California With my toes in the sand Use the sleeves of my sweater it's The audience is gonna like this concert for sure. Uh, we're doing some new things in terms of the way we perform. So you'll see us in the same place in Wanamaker, but we're going to be amplified in a different way, and we think that's going to really help uh, give us a really cool show for the audience this year. The audience can expect some exciting surprises. We have a few jokes planned here and there that I'm really excited about, and we've been working on some funny stuff and uh, some collaborations also. This semester's Plus One concert will be held on the 3rd of December at 8.30 p.m. in Wanamaker Hall. The group will be doing something they've never done before, so make sure you bring your friends and enjoy a fun night of music and dance. There's been plenty of activity on campus over the last few weeks. House Olympics brought students from all houses together for an entertaining night of miniature tanks, tug of war, spike ball, and other fun activities. This year, Ferguson took home first place. Meanwhile, West Presents hosted by the Men of Lowry combined theater, dance, poetry, improvised comedy, and music in a thoroughly amusing variety show that left the audience dizzy with laughter. After months of planning and rehearsal, students involved in the fall production of Guys and Dolls delivered a phenomenal performance in Cox Auditorium. The musical showcased the wonderful acting, dancing, and singing talent here at Principia, and all those involved deserve a round of applause for their hard work and dedication. Now here's Erin with the latest in sports. Thanks, Jessica. Throughout the semester, houses have been competing against each other in Principia College's intramural sports. Taking place each Sunday afternoon, students have joined together to play sand volleyball, soccer, and flag football in good house spirit. The intramural soccer final between Buck and Ferguson recently took place under the lights on the soccer field, and PCTV caught up with those involved after the game. So the this year has been a lot of fun, and I think it's been a really good process so far. I think we're pretty fortunate we just have had some good athletes. Now, now you can see out here it's all night time. We uh, switched the game tonight, typically for a final, and uh, we had a lot of people come out tonight. Buck, Brooke, Bill, for Joe. I think we just we have a good group, and we try to work hard together and have fun. Uh, Buck, Brooke, Bill brought out the victory for Zeal. Kind of a slaughter, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we're, we're pretty fortunate. I think there have been some really good teams. It's been really fun to play or to watch part of it all. A lot of good atmosphere, people came out, and the music was playing too, so all around a lot of fun. Congratulations, Buck, on defeating Ferguson 4-0 in an action-packed final to win the 2015 Soccer Intramural Championship. Keep an eye out for the next season of intramural sports. It's a great way to interact with people from other houses in an athletic environment. And back to you, Genevieve. Thanks, Aaron. Now it's time for CSO News. Thanksgiving break gave students and staff the perfect opportunity to reflect and give thanks for all the blessings that they have received in their lives. Given the significance of gratitude and humility in Christian science, PCTV News decided to ask Principians what Thanksgiving meant to them. Hi, this is Daniel McKenzie from PCTV News. This time we talked to a few people about what they're grateful for, um, and also we asked people if they have any cool family traditions regarding Thanksgiving. I'm really grateful to be going home for Thanksgiving and to see all my family and friends. Um, I'm really grateful to be at Principia in this really lovely community and on this beautiful campus. I am grateful 
for all that God has given me. Um, Principia has been really great to me and all the students are wonderful. Um, my traditions for Thanksgiving, I usually go hunting for duck, which is really great. You get to get outside, enjoy the outdoors that the good Lord has given you and sit and relax, plus maybe get some food for your table. I'm grateful for the dining hall that prepares food for us three times a day. And I'm very thankful for the students who live in Brooks. They bring us a lot of joy and fun. I second that. So let's see, family traditions. Um, just mostly getting together as a family and sharing that with other people. So that's our family tradition. This was Daniel McKenzie for PCTV News. And that's the show for today. Thank you so much for your company. From all of us here at PCTV News, we would like to wish you a safe and relaxing winter break and look forward to bringing you all the latest news and updates from Principia College in the spring semester. Until then, keep up the good work and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you next semester.